Hello everybody, Brad Pointer here with another episode of Fallout Shelter. We're taking our Max Dwellers and we are taking them out to the land of the free. And which is the wasteland. <clears throat> and it's free because nobody wants to live there. <clears throat> Pardon me, please. Now, we have... I think this is a daily quest. It's a high level. The duo of, a, of destruction glowing rad scorpions. Now, if there are two glowing rad scorpions in this thing, we're going to be in trouble. So let's go check it out. Hello? Did I just tell them bad things? I don't think I told them bad things. I told them to enter. There we go. Oof scared me for a second. I thought, did I just send, did I just tell them to come back home after all that time? That would be bad. Okay. Here we are. Eliminate the second glowing red scorpion. Ooh. What about the first one? Do we care about it? Or have we already done it? Ooh, and these guys, let me guess. No, okay, good. I, I forgot to heal them up, but at least I sent them with some healing juice. So, <clears throat> they think they need to fire their maid. I think you're right. I don't know what's going on with my throat here. Thank goodness you're here. We're no match for these chitinous creeps. Uh, take them down for us, please. Or something to that effect. And, yes, ma'am. We will be more than happy to. After we grab your fat loots. Uh, no, I'm not talking about you. Thank you. But those are some cute outfits, I have to say. All right. Rad scorpions, how bad are these going to be? Hmm. They're fairly tough for rad scorpions. The lowest level mob in the game. In the game, and they didn't all die at the first nuke, so looks like this may be a little challenging. Excellent. So here we come. With our... With our team of lovers. Shoot them up. Shoot them all real good. Blow them up in the face. Yeah. Shoot them twice. Boom. Yeah. Now look out. Boy, they just tear through stuff. Like poop through a goose. There we go. Get on down in here. Go to the second floor. But yeah, these little dudes are pretty tough. More raddies? No, just some just some rad roaches. What is it with the with the radioactive insects in this game? I mean It's just terrible what the insects have become. Oh, this may be bad. Nope, not bad. So here I am getting all my hopes up. Actually, kind of, kind of a little concerned because if we have to face two uh, glowing rad scorpions at the same time, it it may get hairy. We may we may actually lose somebody because they're 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 pretty tough. They're doing radiation damage and they they have like something that takes off like half the health just right off the bat just like hey hey guys heard you like not having any health Blech. so and these guys none of these guys were you know groomed <laughs> so to speak like the like my low level ones were uh these guys all went out and got their experience before they were maxed out Boom! Oh, I didn't wait long enough to boom. That's what she said. Alright, look at that. We have a legendary weapon recipe. I like the recipes, but, you know, I'd rather just... Why don't you just give me the weapon? You know, I mean, crafting is cool, and I need something to use all those crafting mats you've given me on. But... I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. 
Okay, now you, hey, you get healed. Like right now. And you are tanking this thing, so we're going to keep an eye on you. Uh, yeah, you go ahead. Mm, boogie. Oh, dang it. Okay, waited too long that time. Oh, see see what I mean? Bang. Well, I hit him and it's like, boom, and they're like, ow. Okay, shoot him up real good. Five times, five times. Oh, oh dang it. Yes, still good. Yes, eliminate the first glowing red scor scorpion. Luckily, we didn't encounter them both at the same time, or somebody would have probably died. I mean, that's, that's just, I'm just going to throw that out there. One of my, one of my little leaders here. Ooh, shoot, yeah. What kind is that? What is it? Just a plain Jane guided missile launcher. So, 10 to 20 to 24 damage. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We're going to keep that for sure. Unless I accidentally sell it. Uh, another legendary weapon recipe. Boy, yeah. Thank you, Daily Quest. You are awesome. Oh, here's another one. Here's the other one. Get him. Get him. Shoot him in the face. Okay. You're tanking it, so we'll keep an eye on her. And what, we'll watch that health bar. Hold on. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can get the, all the action in there. But look, there's some, there's some definite roughness. <clears throat> and this little gal, Star Paladin Cross, is just the one for it. Now, did I, anybody else hurt him? No, okay. Oh, that dude ran over here and started attacking him because he was like, they're watching that one too close. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what was that? Did I just hear a thump thump? Like, I did something good? Hey! Killed the girl at Stay Frosty. Ooh, boy, two of those. We got two watches. Have to ask your ma. Okay. More bad? More bad. Nope. Free room. Yay, free rooms. And a building like this, see, w that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it was at least, you know, several stem packs worth of bad. What is that smell? Oh, is it, are you going to make a smart smart comment? You're going to make a smart remark? Nope. Okay. He knows better. He knows better. He's one of my... He's, he's been around a long time, and now that his intelligence is maxed, he's like, no, I won't be saying that, that I was thinking. Okay. Shoot him. It's five, four, five of them. Yeah, shoot him up. Bam. Aw, oh, dang it. The three of them are on Star Paladin Cross. You guys want to shoot anything? Okay. Good job. Way to shoot anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, they sure, sure are loading it, us up with the legendary crafting materials, and we are not going to complain whatsoever. Hey, wait till they all get in there. Dang. Dang, overzealous little scorpion of Bradness. Oh, oh, that was... Oh, you guys. Yeah, you can... If you, I don't blame you if you stop watching right now. Be like, dude, you're supposed to be good at this. I never claimed to be any good at it. Claim to be running overpowered dudes through through stuff that's probably not not worthy of their overpoweredness. Well, I talk about the rad scorpions in this one. <clears throat> they weren't kidding. Everybody is both rad and scorpion. Double rad scorpion. It kind of sounds like a fallout yoga position. Do the double rad scorpion. Followed by the downwards scavenger's dog. Okay, now these guys, they're, they're healed up enough. That's good enough. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Did we loot everything? Anybody see any sparklies? Nope, no sparklies. Okay, you stop right there. Just stop. 
All right, so we're gonna tell these guys to come on home, fellas. Look at that. Wow, that's we got some loot out of that one. Let's let's look at the at the bottom bar. Just see how much yellow there is. I don't even think there was one green in that whole bunch. See, those are the kinds that you want. That's what you want to run into when you're out here. Um, my vault is absolutely getting full. Yeah, not one green. Wow, look at all those. Look at all that yellow. God, I love that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back through the mini dudes that we have running out in the world right now um, as you can see not all of them <clears throat> have super awesome weapons because um, kind of low on super awesome weapons at the moment so the, the fact that we're bringing back that guided missile launcher is very helpful uh, now we have the, thin, the thinly veiled plot thickens I believe this is Boston Bugle not a hundred percent sure uh, I believe it's once again lower level and uh, I put our homeboy, R R Ray, yeah, Ray, I put Ray in uh, Eulogy Jones's suit because I just thought it was very becoming on him. Look at it. I, I think that he looks splendid. Now, I can't remember which um, version or which uh yeah, which version of the Fallout series Eulogy Jones is from. But I remember him, so it's probably 3 or New Vegas. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, they're a little bit low level for the whooping that they're about to take. That's alright with me. They can call me a wasteland bully if they want to run through with parrots and dogs and dogs that give a percent chance to birth twins which is completely useless in the wasteland but they don't care these guys don't care they're running through so we have the most useless pets in the world <clears throat> we gonna let that stop us no we are going to myrtleize every raider that we see since it's just lying here Way to use English, buddy. Okay, so here we are. Oh, what do we got? Oh, well, at least, at least there's something glowing in the middle of it. Oh, get him. Beat him. Bite him, doggy. Oh, is that it? That's it. Boom. Hey! the flag it's a flag in a box all right see so there's some blues at least you know and some yellers we're happy anytime that we can get rare and ordinary stuff we'll be happy about it oh, and wait just one moment one of these days fellers I'm going to get a room without a phone in it or I'm gonna get that phone taken out of here or something but so far this the channel is not making enough of a financial impact <laughs> or any financial impact for that matter uh, for me to be able to convince my wife that it is worth moving the phone out of the bedroom and yeah I know you're like Brad, did you record this 10 years ago? Because most people don't have a home phone anymore. Well, you know, most p people don't have the phone number that their parents had. And most people don't have a phone number that has reached the same place for over 44 years at least. I didn't... We may have had this phone number for 50 years at this point, because when, when when mom passed away, had it transferred over to me when I, when I inherited the house. So call it nostalgia, call it a practical thing, because everybody in our family knows this phone number, 
Call it what you will. But here's a dude. It was just before dawn. They came out of nowhere. Everyone's dead, everyone. It should have been impossible. We had unbeatable security. This is the fault of that cursed bugle. Your name gets mentioned, you get attacked. The bugle boy told us that it would never fall into raider hands. Bugle boy? Let's ask a good question. Bugle boy? After he visits the settlers at the Robco plant, he comes here to get updates on supplies and treasure to bring back to the off to, to the thing. Oh, well, look at that. That was pretty. What else we get? Oh, shotgun, rifle, four-wheel drive. Country boy. Are you a country boy? Can you survive? Okay. So, do you want to come back with us now that everybody's dead? I mean, you know. You look kind of, I don't know. Uh, who does that look like? That reminds me of somebody from a movie, and I can't remember who. Hmm. Anyway. So, on to the next one. Let's see, we got we got some good stuff. We're not going to complain. That's what this is all about. The loots. The loots. The loots are all on fire. Okay. So, now, this was at, is like a day plus like a day and 12 hours or a day and some ludicrous amount of time so we're gonna have to use some of our precious precious quantums to get this one done but we're gonna do it because you guys are worth it and once again they made me send these suckers out with laser rifles oh I'm so salty yes Oh, no time for pause. This is the uh, Bigsby, Bigsby quests. I think we may be nearing the end. This may be the last one. It may be the one before the last one. Or I may be totally insane and thinking wrong things. But find Bigsby. Oh, yeah. Okay. This may be the last one. And if it is, I'll be very happy. Because I haven't looked to see... If Bigsby is like a super legendary or not but for some reason in the back of my hey look at that we got one back so we only ended up to really spend a nine but uh something tells me that he's he's a legendary that he's a bad boy <sighs> and I'll be right back no I'm gonna let the girls get it Sorry for the phone ringing. There we go. Now hopefully, she won't have to come and say, Daddy, it's for you. And once again, I apologize, guys. I know that that's annoying. Because it's annoying to me, I'll tell you. Be all up in the middle, every, you know, finally thinking that, oh, I've got some time, and... I've, I've set aside this time to to kill things in the wasteland and then all of a sudden the phone rings I mean that that would be that's a that's one reason that's a one pro put this in the pro column of the apocalypse is no more phone calls I mean I think that that alone might be worth the price of admission. Oh, oh, hey. We gotta watch out. Who's tanking him? Alright, he's tanking two of them. Gonna have to be real careful. <clears throat> I don't think that it'll kill him dead. I don't think that this is high enough level. Oh, boy. Come on. Dodge him again. Oh, yeah. We're, gonna get, we're not taking any chances, fellas. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else doing okay? Nope, I'm seeing any skin packs over everybody's head, so they're doing okay. Come on, go on, get it, get it. Go on, go on. Get it, get it. Boom! 
That one's dead. That one's dead too. Yay! Sorry about that. Kind of spazzed out and jumped back. Jump back and kiss myself. Oh! Wow. A Mr. And Lunchbox? Holy crap. A Mr. Handy and a Lunchbox, and that wasn't even the final, that wasn't even the big quest room. Wow. I'm thinking this is the last one in the Bigsby missions. What do you guys think? Thinking that I'm right. Okay, what do we got? Boom. No. Okay. What do you guys think? Do you think this is going to be the final mission? It's the final mission. I guess I should know for sure before I start singing Europe. Oh! So close. But yet so far away. I haven't hit a five yet today, have you guys? Yeah. I'm a little off today. I'm a little off every day, but today I'm a little off in my clicking. And that's pretty much par for the course, I guess, come to think of it. Hey, person, did Brody send you? I thought we were goners. No, you're not goners. I have gone through vault after place. We just made it inside when those mole rats and rad scorps turned the floor into Swiss cheese. Oh, man, good thing Bigsby was here. He heard them and saved my life. What a good dog. I'm here to find Bigsby, Bigsby and bring him home. Please say he's with you. No. I didn't realize he already had a home. You're one lucky owner. Here he is, Bigsby. You can come out now. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Look at the He is Bigsby. Uh, he's legendary. I'm so happy. Can we see him? Can we see him now? 28% <gasps> crafting cost? Cost? Dot time? Uh, Bigsby. Um, you're better than happiness. <gasps> Look at him. Oh, okay, you're always forgiven. You're pretty cute. Give me something something awesome here, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they've already given me. I don't really need a Mr. Handy. What's your problem? Why are you so sad? What's his problem, man? Oh. Oh, because the happiness cat. There we go. <laughs> oh, I don't like this dog. I like allergic to doggies. Oh, gee, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got tickled. That just something about that just struck me funny that he just he's such a cat person. He just loved them kitties. He <laughs> gave him a doggy. It doesn't matter if it's a legendary dog that we've been searching for forever. He's just like, oh, where's my happiness kitty? <laughs> oh, poor feller. That poor feller. What's he going to do, man? Oh, I'm getting hillbilly, but that's okay. That's all right. You know, a lot of times I will remove the, oh, what would, the uh, hillbilly accent, the southern accent from my voice in order to sound very professional and radio-like. But sometimes you got to throw it back in there because that's where you're from. That's where you was born and raised. So you got to represent out in the world and this is a public place out here and so the internet the internet's pretty public you know whether you want it to be or not regardless of the precautions that you take for to it not be public sometimes it's super public and unintentionally okay is there a thing oh no there he is all right good man so happy, so happy we got a dog, we got a lunchbox, who knows what's in that lunchbox. It may be another legendary dweller. It might be. I mean, there's some chance of that. I've pulled legendary dwellers out of lunchboxes before. 
And this was for a quest, so it might have a little extra stank on it. We'll just have to see. Come on. Come on now. Shoot him in the head. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you get her done, fellas. Okay. I can't believe I'm not even getting paid for this. We've had this discussion before. You know, if you want to not consider, you know, free room and board and, uh, you know, all that kind of jazz, if you don't want to consider that to be, you know, paid, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I may kick you out when you get back to your vault. But I've already invested too much time into you. But there's a bunch of young up-and-comers, man. A bunch of level ones coming right up behind you. I ain't even though you're the triplets. Not really. He's the elder brother. Brian is actually the older brother. Uh, these two were born at the same time, two different mothers. So, n not triplets. These are more step-sibling, or half-siblings. Uh, but, you know, in the vault, none of that matters. They're all, they, they're, they're siblings. That's, that's what they, you know, everybody, everybody loves one another in the vault. It's family. It takes a village to raise a kid. You know, that's the kind of thing. And it doesn't really. I mean, they could, they'll be better off if they've got a multi, multiple inputs of uh, experience and knowledge. But, you know, shoot, there have been kids that have raised themselves. They weren't very, you know, socially adjusted. But it's happened. Look at Tarzan. <laughs> Tarzan was socially adjusted because he socialized with the with the great apes and the critters of the wilderness. The critters of the jungle. Gotta say. All the continents and all the animals on all the continents are pretty cool. I wonder if there's like a rad zebra in Africa. Or a rad tiger. Ooh, that's, that sounds scary. Like a galgwai, only it's a lion. A lion guai. Or a gal lion. Or the overseer would better appreciate this. I do, buddy. You know what? You guys are getting a little lippy, though. I tell you that right now, for a bunch of, you know, artificially generated uh, pseudo AI things, you're getting a little lippy. Haven't you ever heard of Asimov's Third Law, mm -hmm. or something? I don't know. I'm being stupid now. That's okay. It's not that you're like, so what changed, Brad? Uh, nothing that we can tell on this end. Thanks, guys. Me, I can count on y'all. <clears throat> okay. Get in here and get ready. Get him. Finish this thing. Because we got Big Bay. And the crafting cost, mm, I mean, it plays in well with the future plans of the vault. Since it's going to be, we're going to be the arms dealer of the wasteland. You know, we're going to be, we're going to be making legendary weapons. Like, I don't know, like it's the Twinkie factory. You know what I'm saying? I and mean, we're going to be churning those things out. But blue, kabloom, you know. And it's like, hey, two days. Well, we're going to stagger it where we get at least one every day. Every day, we're going to have a new legendary weapon. Now, maybe not a new one, but, you know, like, now I've got another Dragon's Maw in production because that plasma thrower, man, you know, I like it. The flamethrower that throws plasma instead of flames. Yeah, yeah. I mean, plasma's hotter than fire, so, yeah, I like it. like it a lot. All right, so, let's go on, get on out, child. 
we got a collie, we got a lunchbox, and we got a Mr. Handy. I mean, really, and <clears throat> a Nuka Quantum. I mean, this is this is a this was wor very worthwhile. It was a very worthwhile quest. Thank you, Bethesda, for putting it in the game. It made it worth going through five or six other quests to get there. So that was very very cool. But that's gonna do it for me everybody for today and this episode thank you so much for watching if you like this episode then like it and i will catch you on the spatula side peace <laughs>